episode of my root app community broadcast and the subject of tonight's video um, is 3d maps in my root app planning and the animation tool that we recently added so without further ado i would like to take you with me to the my root app website so that i can show you all these new great features for those of you that don't know me, my name is Serge. I'm the uh, host for these type of webinars and uh, broadcast lives. I also did some videos for Marutep that I can uh, share with you later on on the, on the website. Um, and if you don't know Marutep at all, let me quickly show you um, what it is all about. Marutep is the best online tool to find, create, share, and uh, make routes for your uh, trip, either by motorcycle, by car, or even on your bicycle or on foot. If you don't have an account yet, uh, feel free to trial uh, for free for 14 days. Just click the big orange button, start the free trial, and find to have access to all the MyRootApp features and functionalities. You can use MyRootApp on your PC, on your Mac, uh, on your Android device, or on your Apple iOS device, and you can create and share routes that you can use on any navigation device, be it Garmin, be it TomTom, Tom, or on our own MyRootApp navigation um, app that you can find in the Play Store and in the App Store. You will also have, uh, and this is free for everyone, regardless whether or not you have an account, the largest collection of uh, checked routes on the internet. We have a community of route experts that create and um, combine routes from other people that like to share their greatest rides across the world. You can see on the map from Alaska to New Zealand and everything in between uh, is covered. And uh, you can use these routes for free. You can download them easily. On the website, there's instruction on how to do that. Uh, you can even find route collections that allow you to um, get your vacation in the Swiss Alps, for example, in three clicks uh, onto your device and you can uh, drive for days or ride for days. So check out the largest verified route archive created by the MyRooteApp uh, route experts. So if you choose to uh, start the trial, then you can uh, fill out your email address and create a password and that'll be it. And after the trial, you get the option to uh, either continue as a free member, uh, have basic functionalities, don't pay anything uh, ever again, or you can choose one of the new products that we uh, offer since recently, since the recent overhaul of the shop. You can now purchase Maruta Brut Planner and Maruta Navigation as separate items, either per month or per year, or in a, um, uh, come on, subscription. Um, so in a yearly subscription, so you can choose whatever works best for you. You can pay per month, you can pay per year, you can even pay for lifetime if you want to, and you can then uh, have uh, it annually renewed or don't look at it ever again. So for any circumstances, we cater, we listen to our users. Back to the website, myroutapp.com. Uh, I have my account so I can log in, and I wanted to talk to you about the great new features that we have recently added. And there's actually a few, excuse me, a few hidden ones as well. And I'll show them along the way. This is the new Root Lab layout. Uh, a couple of webinars ago, uh, Facebook Lives ago, I explained all these uh, great buttons and I'm sure that many of you have already um, benefited from uh, the button to go back to the last route that you were working on or um, go through the recently added routes without having to go through your entire uh, route library. Um, maybe you even uploaded some of the routes that you created earlier or found on an internet website. Um, you looked at your track logs and you visited the library. Maybe you also ch scheduled a course. Um, we can um, provide three different type of courses in English um, uh, for starters, for intermediate users and for expert level users. Um, visit the, the schedule a course site, select a date that works for you. They're in English, they're in Dutch, uh, so you can choose whatever works best for you. And um, there's even sessions where you can ask me anything about Marutep. So if you're running into issues creating the route for your next vacation and you have some questions that you um, don't have a friend for that you can ask, come to us and ask your question there. Also visit the forum, 
So uh, there's many experts uh, roaming around there. You can ask your question in any language and uh, I'm sure there will be an answer to anything you want to know there. And if you are more the reading kind, all the updated manuals you can find here. Okay, so what I was going to talk about is two major steps. And I will just open the route that we um, uh, wrote, I think, six, eight weeks ago. Time goes so fast. I went to the Pyrenees uh, on the bike and we started in the little city of Po in France. That's here. And then uh, we rode uh, across a lot of calls and then we ended up here and then we continued our trip through the Pyrenees and then all the way back here and then back up north. So uh, really um, uh, recommendable if you want to uh, ride a great mountainous area and don't want to visit the Alps. Uh, this, is, this is great. First up in this screen, maybe you've noticed there's a little fresh up. On the left hand side, uh, instead of the uh, individual blocks of information where you found your route information, where you found your comments, your favorites, your track logs, your point of interest and everything else, uh, that became a little bit crowded, uh, especially on smaller screens uh, that were not of a high resolution that got um, cropped a little bit, um, let's say minimalistically. So it, uh, for some of the features, there was just not enough room for people to use, which was cumbersome. Uh, people uh, mentioned that on the forum and because we have development in-house, one of our uh, main uh, developers, Koyon, was able to fix this feature really quickly last week uh, and updated the source uh, immediately, which led that everybody can now use this pull-down menu menu on the left, um, both on your PC, on your uh, tablet, um, I use a tablet quite often, or on your phone, regardless whether it's uh, iOS or Android. If you're in the browser and you're creating a route, you now have the pull down menu, which allows you to see all the route points in one overview. And then if you want to switch to your favorites, you just pull down, switch to favorites, which makes it a lot easier to scroll through the longer lists and have a better overview. If you want to add some POIs, points of interest, you select POI and you can see them all. You can manage them and you can add um, POIs of your own to the POI library. So this is a great small upgrade that wasn't planned, that wasn't on the roadmap, um, but because our users were asking uh, the community, hey, can you fix that? Because it's a little bit awkward now that I'm on vacation that I cannot filter through that list. Um, my root app engineers uh, jumped at the task and fixed that. Okay, so uh, this is your uh, left hand panel. Before I go into uh, animation, I wanted to show you the 3D map feature. As you probably know, or if you're a first time visitor, then I'm telling you now, there's three maps on which you can plan Marutab trips. Uh, that's the uh, open street map that you can get as a basic user. And of course, uh, it's available to you as, as a gold member too. But then the TomTom -tom map and the Garmin here map. Since I use my route of navigation to write my routes, I do the um, here map. Uh, if you're a TomTom -tom user, select the TomTom -tom map to create your routes. You're planning on the same map as your device uses. Next to that, we have a layer that you can add onto the map. So I'm planning on the here map, but I can choose to have a satellite view from Google or I can choose to have the Michelin overview, which would show me all the green lanes and I can plan my route um, uh, following these green marked lanes. If you know the um, Michelin maps, the old paper maps that were um, of the same type, they, they indicated nice routes uh, with green lines and that's on the Marutab uh, overlay exactly the same. So regardless of the map that you're planning on, you can use these overlays. And now there is an additional functionality, and that is the 3D map. Here on the left hand side of the main map screen, there's a handful of buttons. And this box here, this cube, brings you to the 3D view. And as you can see, it's a little bit like um, uh, Google Earth used to be. You see the map, uh, you see the, the globe, and then you zoom in on the map. You can see that there's the root points, they're still there, uh, and I'm 
overhead of the route that I was on earlier. I can zoom in using the plus and the minus button, or I can use my scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in and out. I can use the pen and tilt uh, uh, trigger. Clicking it once triggers the one, clicking it again, it triggers the other side. So I can move the, the map up, down, left, right. Or if I click again, I can, <coughs> excuse me, pen and tilt until I like the orientation of the map. If I then scroll in and zoom in a little bit, I can focus on any part of the trip that I want to. And I can zoom in to such a detail that I can read the city, I can read the street names, I can get a, a view of how steep or how uh, shallow a part of the route is. I can tilt the map, I can swing it around, I can move it around if I wanted to. So uh, I can drag and just scoot it over to one of the sides. And of course, this is um, the most fun in a hilly area. If you're in the Netherlands where everything is flat, um, this feature of 3D uh, is a little bit less relevant, maybe. But if you're in a mountainous or hilly area, this is a great feature. It will give you so much fun before you even start riding uh, that we think it's a great feature to have. By the big blue button on the left, that indicates back to 2D view, who would have guessed it brings you back to the 2D view. Now that we're on the subject, um, I would like to point out a little bit of the buttons here on the left side that not everybody may know. Uh, the plus and the minus, of course, is quite easy. Zooming in, zooming out. Large steps if you want to. Use your zoom on your scroll wheel if you um, want to take smaller increments. Then this waypoint icon, if I press that, I can get a uh, latitude longitude coordinate that I can put in. Uh, use the format that Google Maps, for example, offers if you find a spot somewhere on the map and you click on the Google Maps, um, you find the, the coordinates uh, somewhere at the bottom and you can copy and paste that in here, uh, especially in areas that don't have uh, many houses or so not many uh, house numbers or uh, specific addresses. A coordinate can be very helpful to put a, a waypoint somewhere that you really want to visit. Uh, maybe a viewpoint that doesn't have an exact address or a um, other landmark that you want to um, visit. And on the website of that landmark, you find the exact coordinates. Uh, take Stonehenge, for example, in the UK, um, and then you can add that to your uh, trip by just adding the coordinates. Just put them in here in the correct format and uh, press confirm and then the root point is added. One down is the lock. Uh, the lock locks your route points on the uh, route that you're creating um, so that you don't accidentally drag or delete your route points without the warning. So <coughs> lock it and unlock it uh, as you see fit, but it helps you prevent making accidental changes. So um, then the box, like I showed earlier, is the 3D view of your uh, trip. So uh, zooming in now on the last part of the trip, you can see we did a quick loop here. Uh, I think this was while we were um, uh, looking for somewhere to eat, I'm not sure. Um, and there was a place where we uh, could not cross the um, Spanish border uh, because of uh, a roadblock, which was quite funny when we were there. I'm not sure if that is in this route or in the next one. but. Like I said, you can zoom in to a high level of detail, um, which makes your um, fun before you even start even bigger. Okay, so that's the 3D map. One down is Street View that we all know in areas where Street View is available. It is quite easy to um, click and look around and see if this part of your trip is on a road that you like. Well, you can see the roads there are great. And the last button here, or the second to last button, is the height profile. And you can see we're riding in the uh, Pyrenees, so there's quite a bit of uh, meters uh, going up and going down. And you can see that 
this is a quite spiky road, so you know that there's a lot of elevation and a lot of um, uh, high difference, like I said, which give you a good indication of the excitement of your trip. And the last button is the where am I uh, locator. So if you press that, it brings you to where you are physically located, uh, providing that your device has um, uh, localization uh, enabled, of course. So I have to zoom out because I'm in Zoetermeer, Sweet Lake City. And I have to go back to the south of France to find my route again. And then on the bottom of this screen, you see this gray bar. Maybe you've noticed. And there's a start. And behind me, on the for you right-hand side, so here, uh, the total distance of the trip. And this is a bar that you can use to just drag a small ball across your route line. So you can now just follow easily and move forward to that. Oh, I right clicked somewhere to that really curvy bit. And once you're there, you go like, let me switch on Street View and see how this hairpin looks in real life. And you can see that this is not really a hairpin, it looked hairpin here on the, on, the, on the map view. This is a nice long bend, but maybe here you can see this is already a lot more tighter. So um, Street View is a really helpful tool in planning your trips as well. And with the new slide bar that is available if uh, Street View is not switched on, you can now move across your route really quickly where um, otherwise you would have to drag yourself across the screen or zoom out and then zoom in somewhere else or like I used to do or like I like doing um, uh, while checking my trip is zooming in and then using this uh, arrow button to check if my waypoints are indeed where they should be in the middle of the road. And then in this case, I should have been a little bit more precise so that it's really there where we want it to be. Okay, so that's the, um, the buttons on the left side and the, uh, the drag button to uh, see your entire route. If I show it one more time, you can move across the entire trip as slow or as fast as you like. So try it out for one of your own trips and see if you like it. Um, I hope that that is clear for um, um, the 3D and the map layers. So map layers over here, type of map over here, 3D over here, and moving across the map over here. The other great new addition is my route app animation. Um, you can animate both the trip that you are planning and the track log of the trip that you already did. I first will go quickly over the, uh, the um, animation for the route that we're planning and I'll switch then to the track log uh, afterwards. So there's a few controls that you can set. This is all your own preference. Do you want the red button to move fast or slow over the map in the animation? Try it. I like fast. Real fast or very fast is a little bit too fast for me. Very slow, um, uh, especially on long rides, uh, I think is a bit too slow. So find something that works for you. Zoom. How much do you want to zoom in? A little bit more, a little bit less. Um, you can try these different settings out and find the best one for you. If you add text, how long do you want the text to be visible on the screen? Uh, if you have long um, text that you want to add, uh, maybe you need a little bit more time. Uh, if you just put in small uh, captions, then uh, two seconds might be more than enough. So for the demonstration, I put it on two seconds. There's an intro that shows um, the name of the, the trip, uh, who created it, maybe the distance and all the other stuff. Um, how long do you want to show that on screen? And is there an outro uh, or is there none? Do you want to play a song? Uh, I just found out in the Dutch version that if I play a song that you don't hear me speak anymore. So um, don't bother for now, but you can select something that you like and you can even upload your own MP3 
just be careful with the um, music rights. And if you want the, um, the animation video to be public, so other people on my route that can see it, switch to public, yes or no. And if you don't want it to be public, then uh, leave it uh, private, so public, no. Then, regardless of the map that you planned your route on, you can choose on what map you want to show it. So do you want to show it on the here satellite, on the Michelin map, or do you want to show it on the TomTom -tom map, even if I created it on um, Garmin here. Now I can then uh, start the preview. And as you can see, it shows the intro to the video um, showing where we will be going. And then it will move the red button over the screen here. Look, no hands. Um, in this is what we call fast. Very fast goes a little bit faster than this. So if you like it a little bit faster, you go pause or uh, cancel the preview. You switch to either very slow and let's do the lowest zoom and start the preview. And you can see the difference. So you can do that as often as you like. So if you're a little bit more of a moderate paste, you can slow it down as much as you want to. And you can tell that this uh, would take some time before um, uh, on a long trip. Let's cancel this for now. I can show you the social page, um, which would bring um, a, a shareable page. This is the, um, the trip that you can then share via this link uh, on your Facebook page or um, maybe send it through uh, WhatsApp uh, to one of your friends. And people can then <coughs> see your trip, but they can also use the, the track or the, the route themselves so um, they can um, benefit from the, the nice route that you created. If you choose that the animation settings are correct, so this is uh, all to what you want it to be, then you can record the uh, video animation. Be careful that creating a video will cost some memory, will cost some time, will cost some resources. So uh, don't do it willy-nilly and don't expect it to be done in a second. There's really video rendering going on. So it takes a little bit of time, um, especially on a longer trip where there's a lot of uh, data to be processed. So be a little bit patient. L l uh, read all the information here. You can choose your uh, video quality. The higher the quality, the longer it takes. The frame rate, um, 30 would be fine if you really want to uh, increase uh, the, the uh, quality and you can go up to 50 and you can choose full HD. Remember that if you want to share this on Facebook, Facebook has a lower resolution anyway. So uh, maybe you can render it in a lower uh, quality. Uh, it will be done quicker and on Facebook um, you won't see the difference. If you're creating them for yourself and for your own uh, archive, then select a higher uh, quality, but then take a little bit more time uh, for the video to render. So this is when we create a route and then create a animation from that. I also said that I can do this from my track loss. So if I go to track loss, uh, and this is the, the, the rights that you uh, record either on your Garmin or on your TomTom -tom and then have a track log um, uh, file that you upload to my root app or you uh, track directly, which I would recommend, uh, on your uh, mobile device, either phone or tablet um, while you write, you can then uh, see the track loss directly in your uh, MyRootUp account. So I'll select another trip in the Pyrenees. You can see this is a track loss, so there's no waypoints. There's just a start and a finish. And um, as you can see, there is no photo elements here um, because if you use my route of navigation to uh, record your track, you can choose to make pictures or photos along the way with the same device that you do your navigation with. And then my route of navigation will put those pictures directly on your track where you took the pictures. But I navigate with my uh, Samsung Active Tab, which is mounted on the handlebars or in the cockpit of my uh, GS8. I don't take pictures with that. That's a cumbersome device to take picture, pictures with. I take pictures with either my phone or my uh, camera. So I want to be able to add those pictures to my track log later on. And with my root app, you can. Um, as you can see, there is the 3D button again. So also in track logs, I can um, show you the, um, the track in the 3D uh, version. Just going in quick to show you that. 
and this is the actual line that was recorded so um, this is really what it was when we were there going back to 2d view uh, being mindful of the time i go to the tab moments and um, i can choose to keep moments private so if i have added some moments earlier directly taken from the maruti navigation for example uh, i can choose to share the, the track and uh, everything in it but the moments i keep private if i want to add moments that pictures that i took with another device i just go to the track line wait till the crosshair hits it i click and i can add and i can say stop one or any other fancy name that you want to add i can choose uh, a picture and i just take a random picture from the internet and i can give a description here and if i do that for example here where we were in the really hairpinny corner hairpin i upload another picture which is by the way not a hairpin but you catch my drift i won't put a name in there and i can add as many moments as i want and i can zoom in really really close um, to see uh, where i am and i still have my street view available to make sure that i'm actually right there where i think uh, the moment was so i can line up my picture to match with this restaurant for example if we had some lunch here i can put my uh, moment right here on this spot and say yeah this is where the restaurant was i switch off my um, street view layer and i can add restaurant and upload the picture well you catch my drift this is really simple stuff and it's really fun to make a um, a blog so to speak or a video log uh, on your motor trip or your cabrio uh, cabriolet trip you can see that the moments are now here stop one hairpin restaurant they're all here i can choose to keep my moments private so i won't be sharing them online so other people don't have to see me eat my spaghetti that's fine uh, and now i can choose animation and i have the same controls i go for very fast uh, normal uh, images i take uh, two seconds so i can show them text can stay two seconds my intro is really short but i do want an outro uh, song again i put none but please select something that you like um, let's go for the uh, here hybrid map and then I go for start preview. And now you can see that we will go over my track. Don't see any of the waypoints because it's a track. You can see all the details of where we were so people can have a good understanding of where we were riding. Stop, one, two, three. And there's the picture. Um, and we go on. And you can see that this is a quite a decent speed. Um, the red button, by the way, uh, is also a quick addition made by uh, one of the engineers uh, here by request of people that were using the uh, animation in beta uh, the button the, the red dot was uh, a blue dot earlier which on some screens was not as visible as it could have been so um, per request on the Maruta forum our developer selected the different color and now it's spot on uh, everybody can see the dot move across the map and as you can see, it was quite a ride. Uh, this was a, a wet day, if I remember correctly. We're in a great gorge, so I can uh, definitely recommend this, uh, this ride for anyone. And as you can see, it was quite hilly. It's not that high. Uh, I think the highest peak was 2,400 meters, but it's really great riding there. So if you have the chance, go to the Pyrenees. And this is the um, uh, summary of the trip. And again, this um, uh, can now be shared with anybody uh, if I wanted to. So if I press record, I get the same information. I can uh, choose again the quality and um, same as uh, with the route. I choose my video quality and frame rate resolution. And depending on my choices, it takes a little bit longer or a little bit less long uh, to get the video rendered. 
Okay, um, this brings me right at the bottom of the hour. Um, I have shown you 3D and I've shown you the new animation tool. I also showed you uh, the new feature, uh, the, the, um, the zoom. I'm not sure what I'm calling this. Let's say the drag bar. Yeah, let's call it the drag bar. Um, and you can see you can use this in your uh, track log quite as easily, just as in the root. And then you can then zoom in and find that spot that you were looking to put your picture in. I hope this ha information has been helpful to you. If you like it, um, please uh, join us again next time. Visit the forum if you have any more questions. Uh, book a course if you want to know more and you want to be uh, in a one-on-one -on -one class maybe. Next Wednesday, if I'm speaking from memory, there's uh, plenty of room in the English course and I will go into detail on how to plan a route, how to export it, how to use it. So if there's um, any interest in that, please just book the free course and join me next Wednesday. And until then, I uh, wish you safe riding, safe driving, stay well, and looking forward to see you again next time in my Up Community Broadcast. I have been Serge. Stay safe. Goodbye.